I recently posted a video where I explained why I believe that your savings were better off invested in a solar system for your house than sitting in your savings account at your bank. That video got quite a bit of traction, quite a few comments as well. But some of you asked me to show you the system that we've got installed. So I'm going to take you up into the loft, show you our Solar X system, what it is, what it does. It's a bit windy today. If I can get the drone up, then I will do. And I'll show you the 12 430 watt urinal panels that we had installed as well. And why I believe that as of today, at the time of making this video, they're some of the best solar panels around. So let's go up in the loft and have a look. Right, so up into the loft. God, it's a bit of a mess up here. I need to have a tidy up. Okay, so here is our Solar X X1 G4 hybrid inverter. It's a big box of electrics sitting on the wall in the loft. Down here, we've also got the Wi Fi adapter as well. This sends all the information to the apps and websites so that you can log in. I'll show you that in a minute. You can log in and see what's going on with your system 24 7. And this has got a rated output of 6,000 watts. Now there is a display on here. You can use this display to, to change settings or to see what's going on, but it is much easier to use the app to do so. Moving down, we have our batteries, 12 kilowatts in total. You can see here, we've got the normal battery cabinets and we've got the additional ones that are just sitting down here. I can just show you that there and then obviously we've got some other things we've got the uh, pv or solar panel isolation switch just there we've also got isolators here as well and as you can see there's the cables and they run down out to the roof and onto the solar panels now i didn't want the cabling for the inverter to be run through the house i wanted it to go on the outside so i'll show you what they did with that right now. Now you'll have to excuse the mess we're in the process of decorating at the moment, but the idea is the cables came down from the roof through that black conduit that you just saw, and then into the consumer unit by the front door of my house through this bit of conduit here, so there's no need to run cables through the rest of the house because I really didn't want that to be done. So the solar panels, the reason we went for this particular brand is because they have a good track record of producing solar panels. They're a Spanish company, they've been around since 1997. Now the panels made by Urina are bifacial, which means that both sides of the panel can generate power. Uh, the face of the panel is 430 watts, but the rear can generate up to 10% more power. Also, they use a dual glass design most panels will fall back, which speeds up the rate that they can degrade over time. But the year in the panels will be at least 84.5% efficient after 30 years, which is pretty good going. Year in also use ethical sourcing, and they're the only solar company to have put out a statement outlining that they will never source any components from the Xinjiang region of China. Why is this important? Well, there's a number of reasons, but one of the main ones being that there have been concerns expressed over the use about forced labor in some uh, industrial parts of China. Now I'll give you a quick overview of the app. This is available through a web portal or the Solar X app that you can download for your phone on iPhone or Android. And as you can see here, it's showing us the power coming in from the solar PV, it's now dark, so obviously we've got none coming in. And it also gives you an overview of how much energy your house is using, the state of charge of your battery. You can also go into the settings for the inverter, the remote settings, the default password is 0000. And in here, you can change the times of day that you force your battery to charge and allow it to discharge. I'm on Octopus Flux. So you can see here in the morning, I charge the batteries up. 
and then in the evening when the energy is more expensive between I believe 4 and 7 p.m. I allow it to discharge to make the use so of that cheaper electricity. So that's a little look around our system. I hope you found it useful. If you've got any questions at all, then just drop them in the comments below. And I always try to reply to any comments that are left. As always, thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon.